can you believe this, folks? There is some guy pretending to be me, Luigi, in Rogueport. What the heck? Faker. Anyhow, hey everybody, it's Colorful Artie, and welcome back to Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. All praise be to God on this amazing day. So, we've got to kind of, you know, return the Crystal Star to the Crystal Star door. You know, the Thousand Year Door. Come on, Artie, that... <laughs> I, I can talk good. How come every episode I start by butchering what I'm trying to say? Anyhow, we'll take the shortcut. The shortcut just happens to cut past the Pit of 100 Trials. Don't make eye contact. No, I'm not going into that torture chamber. Not, not again. Not until I've beaten the game, at least. Alright. Call me Scrooge McDuck, because we're going back to the moon. The location of a crystal star was recorded on your magical map. Uh, okay, that is like a total typo or something. Do you see that, Mario? The last crystal star. It can't be there. My name's Luigi, get it right. Hmm. If what this map indicates is true, the location of the final crystal star is... The moon. The moon?! Princess Peach is there too! This just seems wrong on, like, so many levels. Hmm. The problem here is, how does one get to the moon? Quite a conundrum. Give me a moment to look into this. Excuse me, please. This shouldn't take long. Um, looking into this may take a little time, so come back in a bit, alright? Fair enough. Email. Man, I'm getting just too many emails. This is like real life. The real Zip Toad. What's up, Super Sleuth? I heard you uncovered my imposter. You're the best man, seriously. See, when you get to be as big a star as Zip Toad, these sorts of things happen all the time. It's the biz. But, man, alive! For a no name like you to brave danger and find my imposter? Reminds me of a younger, yet less successful me. Yeah, so as far as me, I'm headed to Toad Town to film my next leading role, the soon-to-be hit film on Golden Toad 2. It'll be huge. I hear you're on an adventure or something, so I'll leave you with a line from my last flick, The Toad Warrior. You're cool, baby, but I'm cooler. Best of all, kid, the superstar, the real Zip Toad. That's him, and look who's in the background out the window. It's Junior Troopa. Nice Easter egg. Unfortunately, is it, uh, <laughs> unfortunately, Junior Troopa does not make an appearance in this. Besides that, all right. I have six shine spreads. I guess I'll upgrade Miss Mouse at least once. Now everyone's at least at super rank. And yes, I do want to power up some more. I'll max out Koops. Out of these three, he's the best. Then you may go. Man, Koops only gets 25 HP? Dude, a Goomba has more HP than that. A little insulting. 
Oh well. Let's go back to the Trouble Center. So, oh well, we have four different fiends. Frankie has an important fiend. Chef Shimmy needs certain ingredients. Toodles must have a certain book, and then a businessman needs a security code. Let's go with Frankie. I'm looking for something. I can't say exactly what here, but I can tell you in person. I'm waiting on the west side of Rogueport. Oh yeah, this Frankie. Frankie was also in the first Paper Mario. He was a boo. <laughs> but this is this is Piotta, uh, Frankie. All right. Hey, dude. Don't let me down, Eggman. What do you got? Ooh, I almost have enough for the W emblem. Almost. I'll get the timing tutor badge. Let's you learn the timing for stylish commands. Hey, yo, man. Thank you so much. Thank you. I will never use the timing tutor badge. But, hey. I need to complete my badge collection, and that's the only way to get it. Let's look at the badge shop. Will it finally have the first attack badge? Because I really, really want that. Yes! Thank you! Alright, then I got power... Oh, I don't think I have either of those power rushes. Let me just check. No, I don't. I do not have either of the power rushes. Well, guess what? I'm buying them both. Nice! Actually, let me take a look at my badges. Alright, that's double dip P or triple dip? Okay, that should be double dip P, defend plus, defend plus P, uh, P up, D down, P. Oh wait, no, I have defend pluses down here. All or nothing, all or nothing? Or all or nothing, jump man. That's right. And then we've got lucky day, happy flower. The final badge in the Pit of 100 Trials. I won't spoil what that is. Money, money. Or no, that's money, money. Feeling fine, feeling fine. P. Bump attack. Can't remember what that is. The last attack FX badge. And then the W emblem. Okay, we are very close. Very close to the end. Don Pianta retires. Frankie to take the mantle. Get a fat envelope ready. Graffiti corner. Curse corner. Oh boy, are you glad you didn't read my journal. Whew. The ghost in cabin four. <laughs> I never knew he actually posted that. That's hilarious. Alright, I think Lumpy comes back here. There he is. Um, Mario, it's me, Lumpy. Don't you remember? I went to Dry Dry Desert to drill for oil. Ring a bell. Hey. I... I did it! I totally struck oil! There were times that I was covered in dust, weak and ready to give up, but... But... But I never lost sight of the dream, and one day I finally seized it! And you believed in me all this time, Mario! You sure did! Thank you so much! I want to return your loan with a little more just to show my appreciation. Please take this! You received 999 coins! Boy, thanks for everything. Now I have some, now you have some capital to start your own venture. Just don't let your dream die, Mario. I know you'll make it someday, just like I did. <laughs> it's a good thing I spent almost all my money first. So if you're ever at a point where you have like so much many coins and you don't know what to spend them on, buy the gold bars down in Roadport Sewers. You'll lose a little money doing that, but it basically provides efficient storage for coins. Now I'm buying that W emblem. So we have the L emblem. So the W emblem, change Mario's clothes into Wario's clothes. You know I'm all about that. I'm also going to unequip multi-bounce and equip first attack. Hey everybody, it's -a me, Wario! <laughs> oh yeah, this is great. This is great. Okay, I thought Frankie said he'd meet me here. Happy Lucky Lottery Board. No matches. Oh, here he is. You taking all my trouble? 
Well, I'm glad it's somebody tight-lipped, that's all. See, after returning from Kill Hall Key, I lost my wedding ring. Believe that? And I can't really look for it in front of Francesca, so you gotta find it. I know I lost it after I got back to Rogueport, so it's somewhere in town, for sure. If she finds out, I'll be yelling I love you a billion times, so you gotta do this. I hear you, man. Let's go! I'm glad he loves Francesca and all, but wow, she sounds... A bit, a bit of, like a bit of a pill at times. I really don't want to be re rude. But, I'm, I'm sorry. She's a bit difficult at times. Alright. It's back here. Oh, also, I should check out the guy's stories. <laughs> Heaven knows I have the money for it! Nice job, Wario, you klutz! <laughs> Can you believe it? Oh man, I'm just glad it wasn't Mario who did that. They'd never hear the end of it. Hello, sir. Dragons and Dungeons. For mere five coins. The demon built a dungeon near its palace and filled it with terrifying monsters. All those who fell into disfavor were thrown into this dungeon to rot. Yay, and the demon also had three dragon pets, Hooktail, Gloomtail, and Bonetail. These dragons flew across the land, spreading fear and sorrow over all. Even now, the mere mention of a dragon is enough to give some the terrors. Oh, really? Hooktail is one of the demon's dragons. Interesting. The Boo Heroine's Last Days. Once the Boo Heroine hid her star in a steeple, she was trapped in the nearby town. Some say the crystal star lies in that steeple still. Gee, that was worth five coins. The strong toad held his star and continued his arduous journey. Wow, there's a word you don't see every day. But eventually the miles took their toll upon him and he collapsed. A traveling healer happened by and saved his life. But the toad knew his fate was to be trapped in the box when the star was gone. So he asked this healer to hide the star in a secret place known to no one. Okay. Interesting, interesting. Was that the peddler at the beginning? The one who actually, like, sold the map to Peach? Ah! Excellent timing! I finally have it, Mario. I found a way that might just get you to the moon. You must go to Far Outpost, and there, you must use the cannon there, and it will blast you. Uh, hello? We're using a cannon to get to the moon? Isn't that, like, dangerous? I know how it sounds, really. To be honest, I'm not entirely sure of all the details. Accounts from Far Outposts speak of a device that can launch anything, anywhere. Even to the moon. Great. Sounds super, really. So where is this Far Outpost, anyway? I believe there's a pipe to Far Outpost somewhere beneath Rogueport. But I'm not sure of the exact location. Yes, I believe it was hidden for some reason. If my information is correct, you need something called an Ultra Hammer to get it. An Ultra Hammer? Yes, apparently the Ultra Hammer, made for opening the way, is hidden in town. You'll have to figure out how you're going to find it, though, because I don't know. Hmm. good luck with that. Once you have it, the path to Far Outpost will open. You got it, Professor! Far Outpost, here we come! Oh yes, one more thing you should be aware of. The bob who live there are sort of a surly bunch. They may not let you use their cannon. You may have to negotiate with them. In any case, that's your problem. Good luck! Get that last crystal star! Alright, so there's an Ultra Hammer somewhere in Rogueport. You've seen it before. It's in that giant chest up there. And now that we have the Ultra Jump... Oh yeah. We got the Ultra Hammer! Hi! It's me again, Toadette! Nice to see you again! Wait, I thought it was Mario who was doing this! What's Wario doing here? Way to find the Ultra Hammer! Now your hammer will be even more powerful! And you can also use a new hammer technique! Let's practice it right away! It's just like with the Super Hammer, so no prob! Hold down B and rotate the control stick until your body gets twisty! Then release B to use your Ultra Hammer! Remember to twist a lot before pressing B, okay? 
Hold down B and rotate the control stick until your body gets twisty. Then release B to use your Ultra Hammer. So yeah, no new move. It's just the Super Hammer. It's just more powerful now. Way to go! You got it! Want to try again? No, I've got it. All right, you've mastered the Ultra Hammer. Using your Ultra Hammer, you can even break blocks made out of stuff like this. And you can use the Ultra Hammer in battle, too. Um, this is kind of sad. This is the last time I'll get to see you, Mario. Definitely save Princess Peach, okay? And, and be careful on your quest, okay? Oh dear. No need to cry, Toadette. I'm a Wario! I'm -a gonna win! <laughs> so now you've got that giant chest open, but once you leave screen, it'll actually disappear, which, all in all, works out pretty nicely. Because now you can still run through really fast with Yoshi. Hey, Frankie! You found it? Yep. My ring! Thanks, Mario! From the bottom of my heart. Now take this reward! We get a gold card! A parlor card that lets you play the tube mode game. I haven't even been able to look her and die lately. I kinda miss her now. So if you'll excuse me... Franny! That's sweet. We solved the trouble. So now we are at maximum power with the boots and the hammer. We're <laughs> like Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> So in addition to letting us play the tube game, which, no offense, kind of sucks, more importantly, that unlocks more prizes we can get at the Pianta Parlor. That's pretty cool. And there's still one more card we can get. Alright. We're gonna do Tootles' special vein. I lent a book to Miss Jolene, and now I need it back. And rather quickly. Please meet me in Poshley Heights, would you, you wonderful trouble solver? Alright, Toodles. This will mean going back to Glitzville. Oh boy. Well, first of all, we first of all we have to get back to Poshley Heights. We could take the train again, but that would be very long. And now that we have the Ultra Hammer, we uh, we can open some more stuff. I guess I'll say more shortcuts can be made. I don't have Spike Shield on anymore. Yowch! That hurt! Wah! <laughs> Gulp him. <laughs> I love how Bowser's got his minions down here, because they're looking for the Crystal Stars. Thunder Rage Dane. Thanks for the free item. So now that we have Ultra Boots, we can sprint up here. Pipe! There are quite a few pipes, actually, in the report sewers. So that's the pipe that leads to Far Outpost. And over here, we get the Flower Saver P Badge. Drop FP used when your partner attacks by one. Cool, we get another one of those. Wario! Cha cha cha! <laughs> Gobble! All right, couple things I wanted to do down here. First of which, we're gonna go this way. Now that we've got the Ultra Hammer, bam! Open this chest, and we get the FP Plus badge. Increases maximum FP by five. We can open that pipe, and we can open that pipe. Guess where these pipes lead. Kyo key, matey! Get a free pipe here anytime you want. Alright. I am going to sell some stuff. Or at least store some stuff. Because I'm going back to Poshman Heights and I need to buy me some more pasta. So, I'm going to sell... Thunder Rage. I'm also going to sell Trial Stew, because I don't want it. I know it's only one coin, but I don't want Trial Stew. 
And you can also take my mushroom, I guess. Oh, and I can store 12 more items. That's pretty cool. Take my M coupon. And my one of my fresh pastas. Yeah. recipes do I have left to make? Oh! Excellent! I'm super close to getting all the recipes. I think we'll get them all before we really start chapter uh, 7 all that much. Alright, now this pipe. I, I think you all know where this pipe leads. Why couldn't we have taken that pipe just straight to Poshwood Heights? Yoo-hoo! Pasta cart! I would like to buy three more fins of pasta, please. I have spent 200 coins on pasta. I didn't even get a lot of pasta, just four fins of it. <laughs> just enough for, to get all the recipes. Alright, toodles. It's a me, Mario. Wow. <laughs> so you accepted my request to aid with my little trouble, you delightful man, you. I just decided I very much want to read a magazine I lent to Jolene. But she lives in Glitzville, and that is very far from here, as you know. Could you go get it for me, you resourceful wizard, you? You're fabulous, dear. I know it's a really long way to Glitzville, but trust me, this reward is worth it. So before we go back into uh, the sky to go to Glitzville, <laughs> we can go over here, and there's a boat ability. Also, I am going to unequip no. Flower Saver P. No, thank you. I will equip Spike Shield instead. Is there another one BP badge? I guess I'll re-equip multi-bounds. Yeah. I'm gonna want Spike Shield for this. I can't re I couldn't remember if we needed the Ultra Hammer for this part. I don't actually think you do. But this part up here can be a bit annoying. So, be on your guard. We are sailing all the way down through the sewers. Those are the original two pipes I got to Petalburg and the Boggly Tree. And you know where this is. We can actually sail through into a secret room back here. Filled with Spanias and a new enemy over there. And a very tough enemy, that is. And this is the magic of the first attack badge. I forgot there were three Shine Sprites in here. Good grief. Oh yeah, I think you need the Ultra Hammer. Or the Ultra Jump, at least. No, my foe struck first! Okay, well, you know what? This is why I got the multi-bounce badge equipped and spike shield. Ow! Man, they are fast! And it's hard to predict when they're gonna actually attack. Multi-bounce is much more useful in this than it was in the original. Alright. Yeah, I forgot there were free Shine Sprites down here. Wow, that's nice. Alright. This guy is really tough, but also gives you a ridiculous amount of star points. Alright, let's start by multi-bouncing. And then tattle on this guy. It's a Spunia. That's a Spunia. Its body is made up of springy discs. Max HP is 12, attack is 7, and defense is 2. It may not look like much, but it's pretty tough. It won't come at you with anything too weird, so just hang in there, okay? 
Yeah, it's pretty good. It's one of the enemies you fight later on in the Pit of 100 Trials. I'll take this. How dare you. Yeah, that guy alone gave us 11 star points. One enemy gave us 11 star points, because the other guys didn't give us anything. Yeah, make me go up there. Thank you. All right, now we got to time jumps with Yoshi. Dara, he's a slippery little bugger. No, no, no. Defend plus. That's a very good badge. I, yeah, I, I knew there was one shine spray down there. I forgot there were three, so I can actually max out Miss Mouse now. <laughs> yeah, I'm maxing out Miss Mouse before Flurry. I don't like Flurry. Like to me, she has very pretty much no uses. She was useful when I when I did the Pit of a Hundred Trials, like early, like the first 50 floors, and I had to deal with spiky parabutsies before getting Hammer Throw, or the uh, Spike Shield Badge? Yeah, that was hard. And Flurry did help me for that, for one fight. But she's just not that good a bummer. Alright, off to Glitzville. Sometime later, oh, here we are in Glitzville, and look who's here! Oh, well this is no good. No one will solve my trouble. I'll get there, man. This is the part of the game where I really wish you could accept more than one trouble request at a time. Because there are two trouble requests that require you to go to Glitzville in this one. And one that requires you to go back on the XS Express. Two partially heights! <laughs> Alright, Jolene. Oh, he, he instinctively knows when I need to see Jolene. <laughs> it's still on the floor! Gonzalez, we haven't been... Who the heck are you? Do you need something? I don't even know who you are. It's-a me, Wario! Hmm? Toodles' magazine? Oh yes, I know the one. Alright, alright. I'll return it soon. Hmm? I have to return it now? But that magazine... Okay, fine. Give me a moment. I thought she was hiding it behind the plant. Don't get the wrong idea! I borrowed this magazine as a promoter, that's all. I needed to see what the fuss was about. It's not like I follow fads or anything. We get a wrestling mag! A mag that Jolene returned to deliver it to Toodles. Oh, awesome! <laughs> Who calls magazines mags? Probably a lot of people and I just offended them. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, have I haven't heard of... I've never met anybody who called magazines mags. Or maybe they just couldn't fit the text on. Did you get that magazine from Jolene, you wonderful man, you? Yes, I did. Yes, this is the magazine I lent to Jolene, all right? You are a true hero, thank you. Here is my thanks to you. We get a platinum card, a parlor card that lets you play the boat mode game at the Pianta Parlor, and unlocks all of the prizes. This magazine is very popular among certain celebrities. Everyone who is anyone is, has spotted in a cafe with it under one arm. Okay. Oh, she doesn't even care about the magazine. She's just like, I want to look fancy. Might as well show off the Pianta Parver games we just unlocked. <laughs> also, guess who hangs out at the Pianta Parver now? Hey, it's you again. Looks like we kind of owe you one. So yeah, thanks. Hello, Lala. <laughs> I still have 203 Piantas. Oh, you have a member's card. Okay, I'll prepare the minigame so you can play that with the member's card. You can now play the tube game and the boat game. Tube game, please. I might as well show off what these two games are. I actually don't think I've ever played the boat game. So that'll be interesting. Tube game. <laughs> nice Don Pianta thing there. So I think this is just kind of like a race course where you can pick up Piantas on... ...stage, maybe? You also can't leave tube mode. So this is kind of like a combination of the plain game and the paper game. Paper game's still the best, though. Yep, there's a uh, spare Pianta line up. Okay, easy does it, easy does it. Aw, man. There's a Pianta on that one. 
Oi, 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 oi. Oi, 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 oi. Oh, no. Oh, hey. But it respawns you. That's cool. Oh, whoop. I bet it'll take away some of my bonus at the end because I fell though. It would make sense to do that. Oh, I thought I touched it. And it has been so long since I played the, uh, the, the, the tube game. Oh, that slanted downwards. Don't like that. That was not very good. <laughs> Finish. That also takes much longer than the paper game. I only got four Piantas for that? Well, I broke even. Forget that. I get ten Piantas for free every time I play the paper game, and it's way faster than that. <laughs> Give me the boat game. Never played this before, actually. Let's see what this is like. Oh, shoot. Should've... My bad. I just pressed A instinctively. Oh, no! It's gonna be like that one part at Keel Hall Key with all the whirlpools moving you back. You can still pick up Piantis, though. That's nice. I, li I like the parlor games where you can pick up Piantas line. Uh, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> That's gonna take away some of my final score for sure. Hey, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, no. Oh, no, no. Oh, no. That sucked me in, as whirlpools do. I wonder if it's one lap or two that. Oh, that's it? That's actually pretty fast. All right, well, that did a little better than the tube game. Tube game is the worst. Feel free to prove me wrong. But this is the important part, trade-in winnings. So now we've got all this, the power... Oh, you can get Power Rush badges here. Hammer for... You can get Quake Hammer here now. That's the only way you can get the Power Quake and the Mega Quake is to equip two or three Quake Hammer badges. Jam and Jellies, Ultra Shrooms. I want the money, money badge. I'm going to have to play the paper game a couple more times to get that. I thought I played it enough. The money, money badge is actually at this point in the game probably not great for me because I already have a ton of money. But yeah, it doubles the amount of money you get from enemies. And you can get multiple copies of it. It's just each one takes, I think, 12 or 14 BP to equip. Which is ludicrous. Hey, man. Got any special badges? Jump, man. Yes, please. That's a really good badge. So good. And I'll get a gym and jelly. The expensive tastes. Actually, never mind. I only have 200 coins now. Alright. Which jelly recipes do I still need? I s oh, that's badges. Recipe. No, recipes. Still need the... Jelly Super and also Jelly Candy. Okay, okay. Makes sense. Let me see if I have a Super Shroom in storage. Oh, hey, I also forgot. It's Super Luigi Free. Never mind. I'm, <laughs> I spent that 999 real fast, didn't I? <laughs> oh, wow. Super Luigi Free. Volume Free. A voice of a princess, Dauntless Luigi's next test, came in the form of a kart race on Circuit Break Island, where he won both a, of a contest and a compass piece. The race was fraught with danger, but Luigi pressed through adversity to win. All viewers were awed by Luigi's revolutionary racing style. The mechanic who built Luigi's racing machine, a buzzy beetle named Torque, was so stunned by Luigi's race techniques that he joined him. Reinvigorated, Luigi set sail for Jazzafraz Town, where he made his stage debut. Hazy, a noted Daisy producer, gave Luigi a key role. <laughs> nice exaggeration. Playing the part of an Earth spirit up to pure perfection, <laughs> Luigi stole the show. Hazy's faith in Luigi's natural acting talents was rewarded. The performance won a prize, which yielded another compass piece. Hazy turned from teacher to pupil, joining Luigi on his quest. It was at this time that Luigi's heart, usually draped in the cool comfort of a hero's resolve, began to warm with thought of Princess Eclair. This came to be because every time the compass, uh, magic compass pointed to a new place, her gentle words rang in his ears, touching him to his very soul. The voice spoke of eternity, of stars in the heavens. It wept for those who blind to love. 
It gave comfort in the face of fear and loneliness. Though he had never seen her, our hero was tormented by visions of this fair-hearted maiden. All he could do was press onward. The compass pointed toward rapturous ruins. Only two parts of the compass awaited, and Eclair had one to be continued. That was definitely the best of the Super Luigi stories. Alright. Okay, cool. Right. Room for two new stuff. Two new stuff. Hey, everybody. Nope, no Super Shroom. That's okay. Time to make a couple more recipes. Who the heck are you? I'm Wario. I like to eat. Super Shroom plus Jam and Jelly. And we get the Jelly Super, a dessert made by ZST, replenishes 10 HP and 50 FP. Alright, next up we're just gonna cook some fresh pasta. And we get spaghetti. Spaghetti made by ZST replenishes 6 HP and 4 FP. How is making spaghetti worse than just eating regular pasta? That makes no sense to me. Anyhow, now we're going to do fresh pasta and a turtle leaf. You guys remember this recipe from the original Paper Mario, right? That was one of the first recipes you could make in the game, and now it's one of the last in this one. And we get a coup pasta, a dinner made by ZST, replenishes 7 HP and 7 FP. Again, still worse than just the regular po uh, fresh pasta. I like how it's green, though, even if it does not look appetizing at all. Well, Mario spent, like, a thousand coins in about half an hour. That's impressive. Hey, dude, I found more shine sprites. Help me out. I'd like to upgrade Ms. Mouse, please. So when she leveled up, wow, only 25 HP, right down there with Koops. So the first time you level her up, she gets the ability Tease, which can confuse enemies, or make enemies dizzy like a dizzy dial. And the one we just got is Smooch, which basically refills Mario's HP like the Star Spirit did in the original. Now we're going to do the Businessman special. I forgot the code to my briefcase. I'll be sacked for this for sure. Meet me in front of the hot dog stand in Glitzville. Dang, it sounds like this guy has anxiety problems. Dude, you're not alone. Many, many people suffer from anxiety. I have many friends who suffer from it. Just go get, get some help. I'm not saying they can completely cure it, but they can make it a lot more easy to manage. Well, guess what? We're going back to Glitzville. Here he is. <laughs> Mario's like, I want to talk to the right side of him. Ah, you're that fellow, so you're the one who accepted my request. Well, here's the thing. I forgot the code for the lock on my briefcase. And the prototype of our company's new product is inside. This is a big deal. If I don't figure out how to get into that briefcase, I'll be sacked for sure. How about that briefcase code? See, I'm a real chair fanatic. Yeah, like anything you sit on. I use the number of chairs in the houses I visited on business as the code. Don't judge me. I know it's weird. You gotta visit those places and count the chairs. The code is four digits, so here are the locations of the chairs. Ready? The first is Krupp's house in Petalburg. The second is Flurry's house in the Boggly Woods. The third is Don Pianta's house office in Rogueport. The fourth is Toodles' house in Poshby Heights. Oh, and I counted the sweet, sweet chair in her lovely garden also. I know it's a lot, but please help. And remember, a chair is anything you can sit on. Well, we could backtrack to all those different locations, but there's no need, because I already know the number. Did you find out the code? Yes, I did. What's the first number? How many wonderful chairs were there in Coop's house? There were two. Okay, now the second number. How many gorgeous chairs were there in Fleury's house? 
there were six. And that one was confusing because I never know whether or not to count the footstool in her house as a chair. Okay, now the third number. How many marvelous chairs were in Don Pianta's office in Rookport? There were two. And finally, here we go, the last number. How many incredible chairs were there in Toodles' house in Poshby Heights? Well, you know, you could just try every combination at this point, but, well, it's five. Ah, uh, it opened! Yes, thank you so very much. Maybe I can keep my job. I'll try and remember it from now on. Hold on a second. Please. Hmm? What? Sorry. We were going to combine my company's famous hot sauce with that Stan's Fat Dog. We were going to call it the Ton Boistering Fat Dog. I was sure it'd be a hit. Huh? I shouldn't give up that easily? Yeah, maybe you're right. Okay, I'll do it. I just have to convince the Fat Dog guy. I'm on it. I won't leave this place till I convince him. Wow, thanks for all your help. Here's your reward. We get hot sauce, a popular sauce with captivating spiciness. This is a very good recipe ingredient. It's my company's top item, our famous hot sauce. I have tons of the stuff, so just ask me if you want some more. See you later. I'm gonna need three of those. Hot sauce me. Well, you'll have to pay for it. I mean, it's our best seller after all. How about ten coins? Yeah, it's ten coins for my home. It's not too bad. <laughs> Sit on any chairs lately. Alright. So now, yeah, we're gonna need three hot sauces in all. In all. Alright, how many, many more fans can I hold? Er, two more. So first I'm going to store space food. I can't believe I still have that hanging around. <laughs> uh, Mario, you're so sure excited there. I am going to withdraw my last pasta. Two turtley leaves. <laughs> you can sell the hot sauce at a five coin loss if you really want. Uh, the fruit parfait's all. Right. Oh, the honey super sells for a decent amount. So does the shroom cake. Holy cow! Shroom cake actually sells for a decent amount. I'm gonna sell my other honey shroom because at this point in the game, I will probably never use it realistically. Back to rogue port. I know this episode's running a bit long. Uh, those side quest episodes always tend to do so. But honestly, I was hoping to average around 30 minutes for each Paper Mario video. No. I'm averaging probably 45 at this point. <laughs> oh, well, maybe 40. Because there were like one or two 28 minute episodes. Everything else was at least close to 30 or a little bit over. And But I've had also a lot of 40, close to 50 minute videos. I'm sorry. I like getting as many... I don't like having two side quest videos in a row, because that's a little boring and uninteresting to watch. I'm also really eager to get this series over with. I'm, I still love playing, don't get me wrong, but I have so many other series I want to do, and I feel like I've been doing this for a long time. So I, I'm eager to start a new Let's Play. And if I make longer videos, because I upload three a week regardless of how long they are, I will get through the game quicker. Plus, I personally enjoy watching longer videos more than shorter ones. One cake mix. Alright, we're gonna go on a cooking spree, everybody. So hold your horses. That hot sauce can be... There are really only two fiends you can make with it, but I needed three because one of those fiends is an ingredient in and of itself that we need for other recipes. Hey, lady. Alright, let's start with fresh pasta, plus a hot sauce. This is the simple one. You'd think like a mushroom and hot sauce would make something... Nope. Hot sauce is not a very versatile ingredient. Ooh, but it glows! We get spicy pasta. Spicy pasta made by Zesty replenishes 10 HP and 10 FP. Finally something better than just regular old pasta. Alright, now we're gonna do turtley leaf plus a hot sauce. It's 
far as I know, this is the only way to make this ingredient. This is the thing that if you make it, it's just used as an ingredient for other recipes. It's got those layers. Ooh, it shines. We get inky sauce, nasty juice made by Zest T. Replenishes 30 FP? Just by itself? Dang! That's really good. And now we're going to make another. Because we're going to need two things of inky sauce. Alright, it's time for inky sauce and cake mix. We're gonna make the nastiest cake you can imagine. <laughs> this, from an ingredient standpoint, makes zero sense. Only from a color standpoint does this make sense. This was actually the final recipe in the entire game I found. Because I did not want to look up recipes, really. We get choco cake. We turned ink into chocolate. A cake made by Zest T replenishes 5 HP and 15 FP. This is, you get this as a reward for one of the trouble request uh, things later on in the game. So, and it said made by Zest T. I'm like, okay, so that's the last recipe. I'm like, how the heck do you make it? Obviously, cake mix is one of them. I could not figure it out. I'm just like, well, inky sauce is dark. I'll try that. And sure enough, that's what it was. Final recipe, we're going to use our last inky sauce with our last fresh pasta. And at this point, I think we only have, like, five recipes left. Maybe six. Actually, no, seven. We got seven left. Ink pasta! Spaghetti made by Zest T replenishes 10 HP and 30 FP. That's pretty good. Let me just see if I can pinpoint recipes. Yep, one, two... Three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Yep. So that one is the uh, Maple Ultra. I just need to get my hands on an Ultra Shroom for that. This one, I'm going to need to make another re a different recipe first before I can get that one. That one is Ultra Shroom plus Cake Mix. This one, this one and this one require Ice Storms, which I can buy them at Keohaw Key, but they're quite kind of expensive, and the next world is going to have them for a lot cheaper than that. And then that's Jelly Candy, which is Jam and Jelly plus Cake Mix. So basically a lot of these, I just, it's like, I gotta get lucky, hope that there's an Ultra Shroom or a Jam and Jelly for sale that I can buy. Anyhow, that's all the time we have for this episode of Paper Mario Files in Your Door. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Colorful Arty. Tune in next time. We will finish the last trouble request, hopefully get some more cooking ingredients, and then we will guarantee to start the next world. Hope to see you then. Have a great day. And God bless.